All right, guys, we have been absolutely cooking on some meme coins. Unfortunately, it looks like all of that is coming to an end. Or is it? We're going to talk about all of that in this video. And let me tell you, it's important for you to understand what the heck's going on. You don't want to just look at prices. Prices go down and you don't know why they're going down. You need to understand why they're going down. If there's potential for them to come back up, is there still more potential for these 10, 20, 50 X's? Where's the liquidity going? All of that's going to be explained and everything that just happened in the last 48 hours in this one short video. It all started with this. So what are you looking at? This is Slurf and let's rewind just a little bit 48 hours before this. We are in this thing called the pre-sell meta. So what happens with this pre-sell meta is you send your tokens to an address in hopes that they send something back. It can be good in some situations when projects are trying to launch, you get in early, you get in at a small market cap because let's say it's capped at 5 million uh, pre-sell, you send your tokens in, you're part of that 5 million. Then the token goes up to 100 million, we'll look at you, you just hit a you know a, a big win. But where it goes wrong is if people mess up this pre-sell, which has happened quite a few times. Unfortunately, the story we're about to look at right now is a huge mess up as you could tell. It literally drained $10 million out of the market and here's what happened. I summed this up on my Twitter in real time, literally as soon as it happened with Slurf. $10 million were sent in pre-sell to Slurf in hopes that they would get it back. So they sent Solana to this address. The problem is the dev accidentally burned the $10 million. That's right, $10 million to never be seen again in the ecosystem. So this doesn't just affect Slurf. These are people that trade all the memes. So when I say like the meme coin market is dead, the problem is liquidity is literally being burnt or sent out. So right now we just had $10 million leave the market. This wasn't the only rug or something like, that's, like this has happened. Happen. Some people do pre-sell meta, they get you to send tokens and then they just don't send them back, they just steal the money. Uh, some contracts get exploited that are holding the pre-sell tokens. So money is literally leaving the market. And we saw this last year with the same for the ETH cycle. We had a huge meme coin cycle the first time with Pepe obviously being the leader for that. And the problem is the pre-sell meta came right after that to where people were sending in tokens and basically devs were rugging, people were exploiting and millions and millions of dollars left the market and basically just killed that cycle. Now, the cool thing about meme coins, as far as we know, and really all crypto in general is, it is cycles. So just because this kills it, doesn't mean it's not gonna come back. Also, there is a lot of strong momentum for memes to still be a thing right now. I'm just telling you what might've slowed down the entire market, because as you see, uh, the entire meme market, because as you see, it got hit hard. I will talk about some macro things that affected it later in this video, but let's keep looking at this. He accidentally burned them. Which the funny part of the situation, one of the craziest parts of the situation is there's no sell pressure on launch because all the people that had pre-sell weren't able to sell their tokens. So people absolutely sent this token. Being there's no sell pressure at launch, this thing ripped. It's currently at a half a million dollar market cap still, half a billion dollar market cap still. And the crazy thing is, I mean, people were just buying and buying. There's 77,000 holders. So 10 million got burned at the very beginning. So the pre-sell really got screwed over, but nobody was there to be able to sell the token so the price just kept shooting up so honestly if you're able to get in slurf early and not be a pre-seller you made a lot of money unfortunately again the point of this video is to kind of give you the context of what happened and essentially millions and millions of dollars were just burnt into thin air not even 12 hours before this your boy got burnt too thankfully i never recommended this to anybody and quite frankly this is part of the reason why i don't talk about literally everything that i'm doing because i don't want people to get hurt because it's high risk high reward so th th what happened here was there was a pre-sell for this uh thing called ticker that was, that was the ticker was actually ticker it was going to be on base which is coinbase's layer two for ethereum i really think there's going to be some cooks on base that's a side note for future videos uh because base is the cheapest to transact on and it's ethereum l2 coinbase is going to promote it all that with all that being said i sent in some for this pre-sell meta the problem is when i sent it in the guy who was holding it got exploited so essentially the contract got exploited and literally people were able to trade during that first like 30 minutes or something and and then the token went to zero because somebody pulled all the liquidity. Uh, the And he left a beautiful note saying, Milady. Thankfully, I only sent in 0.05 Ethereum to that address. So, you know, I've done so good on meme coins. It didn't really bother me, but, you know, it still sucks. And some people sent, you know, 0.1 off of multiple wallets, but that's, that's beside the point. So... The entire crypto market kind of took a hit in the last week. Bitcoin's down 11%. Does that mean that it's over? We still have the Bitcoin halving coming up in like just a couple months, maybe even less than that now, uh, which historically in the last, you know, 
over a decade that Bitcoin's been around has increased the price dramatically. We also have the Ethereum ETF approval coming up. I think the deadline is May 23rd. Uh, lots of bullish cases around the corner. Uh, and so with Bitcoin, it's perfectly normal. Last cycle, we got several 20 to 30% dips. Bitcoin has been up only, I mean, we were at 20K a couple months ago. It's been up only for the last few months. It wouldn't surprise me if it does a 20 to 30% dip. I don't have a crystal ball. All of this could absolutely, you, you don't know. I mean, there could be a black swan event. There could be a war. Like there could be so many things. But just based off of the news that's around the corner with the ETFs and the halving and based on all that, that's why a lot of the market's dipping. We saw yesterday that the inflows to Bitcoin from institutional money was much significantly lower than it has been in the last few weeks. So less institutional money fly, falling in, the more sell pressure you get, and you see a dip like this. There's a lot of other news besides that, but I know what you're thinking. I clicked on this video because of memes. Well, this affects memes. If Bitcoin goes down 10%, Bitcoin is the king. The mother chain is going to bring everything down with it. So if Bitcoin goes down 10, meme coins are going to go down like 40, 50, maybe even more, depending on what meme coins you know, you're know you in. Surprisingly, some of my meme coins are actually outperforming the chains that they're on, which has been absolutely insane with some of the cooks lately. So if Bitcoin bounces back, uh, this pre-sell meta, it really just depends. There's so many pre-sells going on right now. A lot of them either are being exploited or the devs aren't you know, making the contracts correctly or people are just rugging. So it depends on how much money exits the market, the meme market out of that. You know, people lose their money, they send it in, they get burned, they don't want to trade anymore. It's basic psychology to see, you know, what happens next. So again, I can't emphasize this enough. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if the meme market's gonna come back. Personally, I'm pretty bullish on crypto as a whole during this next like year or two. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good. There's still tons of wins out there. I'm in some of these pre-sales right now. So I thankfully have only got burnt by that one. I'm really excited to see what happens. There's constant opportunities in the market. If you're aware, if you're alert, if you're watching videos like this, I definitely, you know, at your own risk, high risk, high reward, recommend at least looking into them. I'll constantly be posting video updates, always posting on Twitter, doing some more Instagram reels, YouTube shorts. So be sure to be following me on whatever social media you're on. If you like videos like this that are just market updates and what's going on, be sure to like it. If you made this far in the video, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.